our most beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, whoever attends the funeral of a Muslim believing and hoping for the reward from Allah and remains with it <coughs> until the prayer is offered over it and the burial is completed, he will return with a reward of two qirat. Each qirat is equivalent to Mount Uhud. And whosoever offers his prayer over it and returns before its burial, he will come back with one qirat. As I said, the two ahadith are relating to each other. And they're talking about the virtues of attending a funeral prayer. Whether you know the dead person or you don't. It doesn't matter. He said, "Man ittaba'a janazata Muslim, whoever follows the procession of the funeral of a Muslim, male or a female." And here the Imam is teaching, "As salatu ala al-amwat." Come and attend the prayer upon the dead Muslims. Doesn't have to name them, you know. And whether you know or you don't, it doesn't matter. And what do we say in the intention? Of beginning the funeral prayer. Assalatu ala man hadara min amwat al Muslimin. I'm intending to attend the funeral prayer uh, over whoever is there of the dead Muslims, whether it's he or she. I don't have to know their names. It is not required to mention their names in the uh, intention or even contemplate the names in the intention of uh, the funeral prayer. It is the right of every Muslim, upon every Muslim, to follow his funeral, to visit them if they were sick, if they say, <coughs> if they sneeze and they say, Alhamdulillah, you do tashmeet, you say, Allah, and so on. How much reward will I get? In the second hadith, the Prophet sallallahu explained the exact reward, but he put a term, imanan wa ihtisaban, which we heard very awfully, in the ahadith, whoever does so, whoever does such and such things, imanan wa ihtisaban, imanan out of faith, ihtisaban, anticipating the promised reward. In this hadith, and in the following hadith, hadith 229 and hadith, uh, I'm sorry, 929 and hadith 930, both are talking about the promised reward which you should anticipate for attending the funeral prayer is a word equivalent to a mount, a great mount, Jabalaini Azimain, two great mountains, Jabalun Azim, one great mountain. What is a great mountain? The second hadith says, Mithla Uhud, the mountain of Uhud, uh, its width varies between two to three kilometers, the width and is extended over several kilometers. So this is like a huge mountain. It surrounds a huge part of Medina, correct. For attending any funeral prayer, you get a reward equivalent to the mountain of Uhud. That is the meaning of the Qirat. As I said, whether you know who is dead or you don't. And if it is more than one person in the same prayer, you get a reward for each person whom you're offering the funeral prayer over. Having said so, what makes people leave, even though they are in the masjid, especially in al-masjid al-haram, in Mecca, or al-masjid al Nabaw in Medina, what makes them just show no interest, and after the prayer is concluded, immediately they leave? The only explanation I have in mind, and Allah knows best, is that they don't know what they're missing. They don't know how much reward is in the funeral prayer for attending the funeral prayer. This is one thing. The second reason is obviously because they don't know. They don't know how to offer the funeral prayer. I'd like to seize this opportunity and go over the funeral prayer quickly. Less than three minutes you offer the funeral prayer. Allahu Akbar. Only the Imam raises his voice with the takbir, while the followers pray without raising their voices. They must make takbir too, but like the regular prayers. Allahu Akbar. 
Then you recite Surah Al-Fatiha. After al isti'adha and al-Basmala. There is no beginning supplication like the rest of the prayers. You don't say, Allahumma ba'id bayni wa bayna dhunubi kama ba'adta bayna al-mashriq al You don't say any of that. Because Salatul Janazah is supposed to be short and brief. The funeral prayer is supposed to be short and brief. So Allahu Akbar, and then you recite Al-Fatiha. Then the Imam makes second takbir, Allahu Akbar. And then you recite the peace and the blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some people call it the Dood Sharif, as in the last part of Tashahud in the prayer. You say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد That's it Third تكبير الله أكبر And you make dua for the dead person I know some people will ask I don't know Arabic Can't you say اللهم اغفر له و الله forgive him or her their sins Allahumma arham that's it okay so keep praying for their forgiveness that's it oh Allah have mercy on them oh Allah forgive them their sins this is the whole purpose of the funeral prayer to benefit the dead person because your invocation matters big time this person will be either saved or ruined based on the funeral prayer how many people attended how much dua they made you know and this is a sign of a good conclusion of their lives so make sincere dua for the person who is dead even though you don't know them you don't know him her or them in the case of a child in the case of a child you make dua for the parents of the child say oh Allah grant them patience give them better what that they lost and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to um, reward them the promised reward building a house for them in paradise for their patience upon their loss of their child then after the fourth takbir you make dua for yourself the prescribed dua to say Allahumma la tahrimna ajra wa la taftinna ba'da wa aghfir allahumma lana wa lah O Allah do not deprive us from this reward of the funeral prayer and do not try us after him or her and forgive us and him or her or them very simple as I said three minutes four minutes five minutes is not much so you attend this simple funeral prayer and you get that much reward if you decide to follow the funeral until it is buried then you get another mountain of reward like Uhud مثل Uhud those who happen to pray in Al-Masjid Al-Nabawi especially those who attend in the first and the first few rows have a wonderful opportunity not to be missed after you attend the funeral prayer follow the funeral procession to the burial place which is Al-Baqiyah you know a few meters away from the door of Al-Masjid you follow the funeral prayer until it is buried you get the reward of two mountains of hasanat or good deeds similar to the mountain of Uhud. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best and insha'Allah we'll take a short break then we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Please stay tuned.